What is up, YouTube? Kill Cam back on the saddle of the Kawasaki Vulcan S650. And I actually have some bad news for this bike, sadly. Yesterday, my dad, the first time he was riding without me, he took a tumble with it. So yeah, it's bound to happen when you get a new bike, you're gonna get a scratch on it. But the story was, he was on this road, and this road's very curvy, and when he was turning onto our road, where we live, this truck was just on his ass, basically. And him being a new rider, he turned onto our road, and our road always has, always has dirt, always has gravel on it. Him being a new rider, he panicked with the truck, he got onto that gravel a little, a little too fast for what he was used to, and the back slipped out from under him. So, yeah, we got a little scratch right here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I promised you guys a walk around of this bike. So, yeah, he said I could ride it. Oh, and I have some R6 news. I'm currently in need an oil change bad. So, fresh oil, put some really nice oil in it. If you guys have any questions about what I put in it or how to do it, just leave me a comment and I'll make a video for y'all if you guys would like me to. It was one of those where it's very, it's not a hard task at all changing your motorcycle oil, but when you're not, I don't plan anything. So half the time it's just me looking around my garage for the tools I need. So yeah, that's the, that's what happens when you're a 20 year old and you're not organized. But yeah, so clean this chain. It's looking flawless right now. New oil, clean this chain. But the only problem is, is that my shift linkage has to go in the right spot. I've yet to find that. I've looked up on forums where you need to align the little dot to the line. It's just too hot in my garage. I'm a very impatient person, so. But yeah, she's looking good. I'm gonna fix that probably soon so I can be back in the R6. My dad just rode a little bit. He's not scared at all. He only went down going like 10 miles an hour and he fell into like the grassy area when he was turning because the truck was right on him. So he's okay, he's not hurt. His pride's not hurt or anything, he's still happy. And I would be too, look at this bike. This thing's just so, just so comfortable. I can't get over this. But I owe y'all a walk around. I'm just gonna cruise until I find a nice spot and talk to my people. This video's not gonna be too long, gotta go to work. But this thing, literally, I just, I sit on it like a gangster. I got my gangster lean on, my one hand, chilling. Got my gangster lean. But yeah, folks, it feels back. And real quick, y'all hit that red button for me. If you guys like these videos, let me know. You guys leave me a comment. I respond to every comment. I'm not a big YouTuber that doesn't respond to any comments. You guys have a comment? Let me know. Say what's up. Just say hello. Say what's up, Kill Cam. I love that fan support all day every day 24 7 365 but yeah folks i'm just kill a cruising kill a cruising but yeah i kind of felt i kind of feel bad for my dad because the first time i was in there riding because my i still didn't put my shift linkage on that so i couldn't ride and it was just really aggravating me honestly so i didn't want to deal with it at the time i was going over to a buddy's house so he just went out to go ride and that happened i got got a phone call like an hour later and i'm just like oh man are you kidding me you never want to hear that he's um, he's so happy when he's on this thing for him to go down i felt terrible but i'd much rather it be at 10 miles an hour in the grass than like 50 on the gravel if that makes any sense to y'all oh nice blinker i'm on a cruiser and you're annoying me God, this thing's too fun. Speed limit is 30. I'm obviously going 30. Oh my goodness. Can you... Leaning on a cruiser. Skirt, skirt. Uber everywhere. But yeah, I'm going to go find a nice spot to go do a walk around. I have not decided where I wanted to stop yet. But yeah, this thing, this color and the sunlight is absolutely insane. It has these little green flakes. Yeah, I'm going a little too fast. I don't want to run over a puppy. That would not be, I don't know, I would not be able to live myself. They actually tell you that in a course. If a dog ever runs out in front of you, 
not to change like your direction just because half the time you go down and the dog's gonna avoid you but there's plenty of stories like that in deer and deer are honestly like the scariest thing to me on a motorcycle Tallahassee is where I live is like eight miles off of the Georgia borderline the Georgia line Florida Georgia line so yeah when it gets colder here in the fall there's deer everywhere and that really it really opens your eyes when you're on a bike and you see a deer run across so you just got to be careful there's just stuff like that just adds to the extra the extra factor of being on a motorcycle this thing just <laughs> it's so much fun I can't believe I used to be like why would you get a Harley they're so lame I can't I was one of those kids I'm not even gonna lie to you in my mind I was always sport bike dual sport supermotos that kind of stuff I was like never get a cruiser and I just can't believe how fun this is and honestly the other day I wanted to ride this more than my bike as weird as that is I actually felt kind of bad about it skirt skirt oh that bump though hey uber everywhere but yeah man this is such a great feeling and if y'all are new if this is your first time watching this video hit that subscribe button for me if you guys like this i'm gonna do a walk around up here i know we're at dead end oh uh, this would be a sick picture i need to come down here with the camera look at these trees that would be a hard picture with my gangsta lean i'm gonna have to get that done but yeah here we go here's a little dead end dead end with a few houses so they're welcome they get to see they get to see some kill cam action but it's great dude i can't believe my dad gets a bike aka i get to ride the bike oh there we go hey here's the walk around folks kawasaki 2015 vulcan s and that's a good looking bike I love the radiator cover right here, whatever this is. Ooh, that looks so sweet. Looks so sweet. This color though. The exhaust pipe, the exhaust definitely needs to be louder, but honestly, this bike looks gorgeous. And for what he paid for it, I cannot be complaining. Oh yeah, and here's the scratch, folks. That's all that happened to the bike, that little stuff right there. Yeah, it's sad, but it's okay. It doesn't look that bad. And he's learning got a little bit on the frame slider but that's what they're made for still runs like a dime piece it says it needs gas but i didn't bring my wallet or anything on me i only have my backpack normally i have my backpack and all my all my shit but today i said nah dude i'm gonna go cruise he's like i don't need gas wait until you get on the road i'm like dad it needs gas he's like no don't no one ever listens to kill cam anymore Oh my goodness, I just love this, man. Ooh. It's a little weird on the bumps. It's like... Duh, duh, duh. At least it doesn't, I'm not going to rack myself on this one. On your 6 you hit a bump like that, you're not, your kids are feeling it. Before they're even a thought. Ooh. It feels actually nice out right now. It doesn't feel like Africa today. I tried not to go outside today. I was in that garage trying to mess with that shifter. And it was it's just too hot to even think about stuff like that. Especially when I'm already getting aggravated at it. That is not happening. I just wish this thing, I wish it could be like, I want to ride, oh my God, I got blinded. I want to ride like a Sportster, like a Harley Davidson Sportster. I think the 883s look pretty sweet. If any of you guys have ever been on one of those, let me know. I definitely want to ride one. The Harley Davidson 883 Sportsters. I think the seating position is just a little bit different than this one. But this one is, <laughs> I just love this, man. These feels like such a badass. I'm gonna keep y'all updated. I know this isn't my bike personally, but I'm gonna keep y'all updated on the mods. I have some ideas for it. And if my dad wants to spend some money on it, which I'm assuming he will, just let him get comfortable on it, get some exhaust pipe put on, get rid of all these weird uh, blinkers. I don't like those. Why are you running on my road? Can I just run you over? Get off my road. Uber everywhere. Yeah, why are you running? You're just taking Uber everywhere. Skr, skr. Okay, I'm gonna see what, oh, I can't open it up yet because it doesn't have, it only has 109 miles. 
But yeah, folks, I think I'm going to end this video and just keep cruising. Y'all take it easy. Go hit that 